Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my high score run of the Inverted Spire. I'm using top three of the Striker subclass on the Titan. We're using Blast Furnace, the Epicurean, and we're using Zenobia D. I've got Rocket Launcher Scavenger on my mark, and I'm using the Insurmountable Skull Fort. I use, um, took a 2.17 power handicap, which gives a score multiplier of 3.98, which is achieved with Heavyweight, Arc Singe, Momentum, and Match Game. I'll also be using a tank which I, I don't think I've ever done in a video. i just done it for a bit of fun, and it was really cool to use. So the Epicurean, that is the Menagerie Fusion Rifle. Mine dropped with Demolitionist. can't actually remember the other perk, but it wasn't anything exciting. It wasn't uh, one of the better rolls. Although I did get uh, the Hand Cannon with Rampage Outlaw, and I got the, fus the, the Shotgun with Trench Barrel. So they will feature at some point. Now, obviously, the servers have gone down for 12 hours today, so that's why I'm putting the video out. That's why I left it to today, just to give you guys something to watch. I do have another run. I've got another Nightfall run. I've done the gar a Garden World before they changed the Nightfalls. But I'm going to use that as the backdrop to my future Destiny video. So once I get that done, that probably will be out later on tonight. Uh, Epicurean. I, I, I don't really... I think I might have used Loaded Question a couple of times. But that's really it for Fusion Rifles. But... For shield wise, there's a couple of arc, there's normally a couple of void in this, and there's like two or three. For, for the enemies you have to kill, there can be two, or enemies that can stop your progress, there'll be two solar shields. One of them, if you go down to this area and there are three scions, you know you're going to have Cabal at the bottom, you know you're going to get the Vex Minotaurs. If there are four Vex at this part, you know you're going to get the Hydras. So we don't have any solar. So, obviously, it's match game. Now, the rocket, if I'd have fired a couple of rockets, it would have done damage to him. But because there's Vex Snipers on the other side, I'm just going to allow the Vex Snipers. I say allow. I'm going to wait for the Vex Snipers to take his shield down because the sniper is solar. Now, I fire. what I normally do is I fire at that explosive barrel, and 9 out of 10 times it takes his shield down. It didn't this time, but as you can see, the snipers are doing a good job. As soon as he comes around here, we'll put a rocket on him. That's him gone. This is where the Epicurean, I was kind of happy that this was the, the, the what we got because the Epicurean gets a chance to shine here. And uh, the Vex knew what was happening, the Minotaur knew what was happening, so he decided just, you know, the only person that kills me is myself. <laughs> uh, so what we're doing here, now you can use this strategy. The, the, the area I'm in now, you can do this for both. If you just go back round to the right, you can do this. If the Vex Hydras are here, you can go just round here where I am now, and you can take the Vex Hydras out from there. Or there's a rock behind us at the back of this kind of platform. That's normally a better place, really, to, to take the Hydras. But what I normally do is I suppress the area in front of me with a grenade. As you can see, momentum. Thank you. Uh, I suppress the area in front of me with a grenade. And that any any enemies that want to come and push into that area will you know the 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 grenade will deal with them my my blast furnace much the same as any of the weapons that i like to use pulse rifles hand cannons for pve has rampage on it and I, I, that is a perk i really like i like that on any of my kinetics because so i the the offspring of hand cannon i got a really good roll of it i got Outlaw Rampage, I got Trench Barrel on the Shotgun, this was yesterday. That was the role I wanted, Outlaw Rampage. Because once you proc it a couple of times, once you get the third proc, it's a one-hit kill on most red bar enemies. And if you put on a minor, a minor uh, spec, it just it, it becomes a bit of a, a bit of a melting machine. Just, just for the type of ads that you should be fighting with a kinetic, which is just red bars. So we're going to Put a grenade, uh, rocket on these two guys. And then what we're going to do is clear these ads in front of us. Clear the ads right at the bottom. And then we're going to get in the drake. Now the drake's really good. And it helps clear the areas out pretty quickly. Now I've done this a couple of times testing different kind of strategies. Although I I never really tested any real strategies. Because don't need to on this strike anymore. I was actually looking at different weapon setups. That's what I mean by strategies. And the Drake was here nearly every time. So I, I don't know if that's a thing now, if the Drake, because it never used to be there every time. In fact, if 
for anybody that's interested. I don't think I've, I don't think it's ever been there in one of my videos. So we're going to hop into the Drake. The Drake's really cool because it has those kind of homing missiles as well as the big, the big hit. And they will take down the arc shields of the Cabal bosses. So that's pretty cool. As I say, I've never really used it before. Uh, and, and I don't think I've ever really used it. Not even just for, for content or for a video. But <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it's very good. You can just home in on all the enemies in, in, in this kind of war zone in front of you. And just let, let the homing rockets do their job. Now... I'm always used to, and anybody that's been following the channel for a, you know, and remembers the old kind of runs that I done on, on, uh, on Insight Terminus, I always go the exact same way. I always go to the right because I feel like it's the most cover. You can do the most damage. The Drake doesn't enjoy my normal ways. You can see I get stuck on the edge here. Uh, and you know you've got to be careful because the ship will fire at you. So just be careful. If you if you do 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 this and the Drake's there, just just go right through the center. You know, it's probably easier. You know, because the way I go, it's it's yeah, a four wheel drive. <laughs> An off road, a Range Rover might do alright, but a quad bike. So what we're gonna do is get to this point, we're gonna just move to the left a little bit, take out the two snipers. Just, you know, one hit each. And then all these ads are going to come down. And I don't know if you noticed. I, I I I didn't notice until I was actually watching the run through to start with. But that, for, that first Scion went absolutely flying. That's so cool. They do make very kind of laughable montage moments when you see he proper went. Uh, so, yeah. The thing about the, the Drake is, the, the, as I said, that the Holman rockets, these rockets, the Arc. So they will take down this three Arc shielded kind of guys here. So we've got that, that uh, the Bloodguard Le Legionnaire, Legion, Legionary. And then we've got him. So I, I hit him with a rocket just out of habit. Now I'm a little bit above him, so I miss him with the first one. And there we go, the, the Elite Gladiator is dead. I'm going to have to remember that. I always forget the names of these guys. So the glad I, I call the, the other Gladiators, I call them Butchers. So an Elite gut Gladiator is a shielded kind of heavy hitter. So this Blood Guard in here, the Legionary, we're just waiting for him to come out. As you can see, I'm trying to tease him by hitting the ground. He's the last enemy that we're going to be taking with the Drake. So I just home and fire, all in one kind of motion. The tank obviously doesn't regenerate its health, but it done its job. Thank you for your service. You'll be remembered. I'll probably try and use it again at some point because I, I did, did really enjoy that. So once you've done that, you activate one of these consoles, go across, and we're going to put a grenade on these ads as soon as we land. There is an explosive barrel on the left. I think there might be one on the right. I can't remember. And if, if you hit the explosive barrel, it'll just kill all these guys. But if you haven't done any, there's the explosive barrel there, but if you haven't done any damage to them, you don't get the points, which is why I try not to do that now. So we've got these guys down here. We're going to have two gladiators and just a normal kind of legionary. So there's your normal legionary. There's the cabal guys. We're just going to try and get them together and let the Epicurean do its thing. And it doesn't waste time on dispatching them. As I say, it's, it's very stable, and stability equals, with a fusion rifle, almost equals range, because the more stable your shots, the more tight the 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 grouping of your shots, the more range you'll get out of it. So it's kind, it kind of stands to reason. So what we're going to do, I make, a, I make an error here. I don't get punished for it, but I will tell you guys about it so that you guys don't make it. I took a bit of a ride here. This was an old year one strat, and I'd done it by mistake. I backed up onto it at the perfect time. People used to get on this thing and just you would just stay here. You could uh, if you get if I backed up just a touch, I would be able to hide behind like a it's like a little wall that's on it, and I could ride it for the whole I could ride it around for the whole minute uh, or so that it takes the couple of minutes it takes to to get the hundred percent. We'll just put a, this was the mistake I made. I nearly was punished for it. So that triumph that came up, you guys might have seen them in the game. 
Uh, I'll explain where, why I nearly made that mistake, what you shouldn't do. But that triumph, the, I've done it again, and I've realized I've done it, so I've hunched straight around, nearly died making the mistake. Do not go running about if you've got dogs here. Don't go running where I did over here because the drop pods. Now, I, I, luckily, I lost my shoulder charge, but it was fine because the charge, the, the we'd finished, we'd the, the, the teleporter was ready, so we come across. But those, those triumphs, you might see them pop up. That is for the Hall of, I think it's called the Hall of Tribute, which is coming next month. Uh, so... When you when you when you get when you do the triumphs, now the triumphs are for getting kills and certain activities using uh, using menagerie weapons or menagerie armor, and I think what it does is it, it it's like a trophy, and you're going to have this tribute hall. I think that's what it's called, tribute, the hall of tribute that you can go and view them. I don't know what else it's going to do, but for anybody that's interested in what they are, the the trophies for this tribute hall. So. This is the second solo boy. So that's what we're going to call him. Solo boy. This is the second solo boy that we're not interested in killing. He really was interested in killing us. But we're not interested in killing him. Because he will just take too much of our resources to put him down. So we're just going to suppress. Now that's what the grenade does. Suppression. It just is like... Keeping keeping a consistent amount of damage and controlling areas, which in these kind of tight situations, that's what you're looking to do is control areas. Uh, the Epicurean will make light work of these guys. The, the, this guy, the, the, the elite, he was a little bit more difficult because I was taking fire from him and and his, his mate behind him. So, basically, I'm moving about the area. Trying to keep myself, trying to keep the good, a good lane on, on this guy. Unfortunately, he's put his shield back up. And the Epicurean loves his shield, as you can see. The Incendior doesn't like the Epicurean. It's fine. We don't like him. He's dead now anyway. What we're doing now is we want this guy to go. This guy's kind of movement is... is uh, it's, it's dictated by damage. So, as you can see, we're going to put a grenade on him. I, I'm wasting that grenade. And we'll get a, a big shot on him. The minute I put those on him, the wanted enemy is about to escape. The wanted enemy has escaped. It's linked to damage. Once you start hitting him, he's going to want out of there. So you do have to do some damage. If you can't put him down, you're going to have to do a certain amount of damage to get him to run away. Another thing about this area, so what we're going to do is we're going to work our way across this area. We're not going to drive past it. If I wasn't doing a high score, I, I would be past this by now. I'd have just got my sparrow and I'd be gone. But because we're doing a high score, we need this is cheap points. That's why this is what I call them. These are cheap points. So what we're doing here uh, is we're just going to pick off these enemies. But what you have to be careful of is that you've got to be careful of the drill. You've got to be careful of your your line of sight, your angles. You can't get too close to the edge when you're firing at enemies because the drill can, if even if it just clips you. If it, it, it might not do enough damage to kill you when it clips you, but it will do enough damage to throw you into a wall, which will kill you. So, again, suppression. This this is a bad angle. If I was if I was going back on it now, you need more of, of a favourable angle. As you can see, I back away quick there. You need this sort of angle firing, because you can see, you can see the drill coming. Now... That kind of orange bar, that, that elite kind of sniper, I just end up leaving him. Simply because we, we've got a decent amount of points. I know there's more. You can see it's just a bad angle. Uh, and I, I eventually, it's not worth the risk. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to get my sparrow because I know there's dogs. If you get if you get the cabal here, you know you're going to have dogs. If you've got... the you know, if you've got the 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 vex, you know you're gonna have those elite snipers. They're they're your biggest problem because there's like three or four of them, and they can do some big damage. So we've got ninety seven thousand. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go down. We're gonna take out these three harpies. I'm not going for the one phase. All right now, you can go for the one phase. So it takes all your rockets to do it, and maybe that might that might not be enough, as I've. As I said, I, the reason I'm using rockets on this was more of a test. 
because the rocket damage is so ambiguous. Sometimes it's immense, and other times it's like it's not very good at all. Got a brick of heavy up there, so I'm going to put four rockets on them. We've got six. If you've got if you've got rocket launcher, if you've got a bit, I have a better rocket than this, a better Zenobia. So that's what four rockets gets you. I've got one with tracking, and I like to have tracking on 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 my, especially this because the the cluster perk is intrinsic. Every Zenobia has tracking, so I like it to have cluster and field prep so that I can take more, carry more rockets, you know, ain't all the time. You'll, you'll carry seven and then with rocket launcher reserves, that's eight. You could have just spammed them up top. As you'll see here, I'm going to put three rockets on him. I just was shooting him there just to see if he was immune. He wasn't immune. I'll get another one on him, which will make him headless, and the, the last rocket will kill him. So seven rockets is what it took to put this guy down. And that's the run, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. I appreciate your viewership as always. I have another run of the Garden World. I am going to put it out tonight because obviously the nightfall's changed. I am going to put it out tonight, but it's not going to be as a guide because the nightfall isn't here this week. I'm going to use it as the backdrop to my future Destiny video, which I've been threatening to make for weeks now. I'm going to do it tonight. I hope this 12 hours passes pretty quickly for you guys, and I hope you enjoy the run. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.